Welcome to the Mad Science Lab. Come on in and see the Cosmophone. Hello, my name is Jerry, and this is a music synthesizer. It's a pretty common one. It has a keyboard. The, the low left-hand keys play low notes. The right-hand keys play high notes. And if I had any music ability, which I don't, then I'd be able to play tunes on it by playing across the keyboard. But notice that any key you press will always have the same note. And all the low notes are on the left side. The further the left a key is, the lower the note. The further the right a key is, the higher a note. So this is a way of playing different notes by moving your hand around on the keyboard. There's other ways of playing different notes. This is another music synthesizer, very similar, but it doesn't have a keyboard. In this case, instead of the position of the hand on the keyboard determining the pitch of the note, the energy level of the cosmic ray, as detected by the detector and established by the analyzer, is sent to the synthesizer as a high note or a low note. So if we listen to what's coming out, th that's a relatively high cosmic ray energy level. Here's a lower one. There's a higher one yet. We can get more of them by selecting a lower threshold so we hear a larger percentage of them that are going through the detector. And now it's as if it were playing a tune. And it's playing about as good a tune as I could do on the keyboard. Probably you all could do much better. But the high energy notes make the high pitch tones as if they were on the right side of the keyboard. And the low energy particles make the low frequency notes as if they're on the left side of the keyboard. So this becomes kind of a musical instrument that's played by cosmic forces, by highly energetic particles that come from the far reaches of the universe. Here's an item everybody's familiar with that has to do with changing frequencies. Ordinary FM radio. As you tune across the FM band, you hear the different stations because they're at different frequencies. And you're analyzing the different frequencies when you tune the radio in just the same way that the Cosmophone analyzes the gamma rays by their different frequencies. In this case, you're listening to the information that the radio station is sending on that frequency. In the case of the Cosmophone, we're just using that information to play a particular note. Again, with the, the low energies being the low notes and the high energies being the high notes. This is a specialized type of radio receiver called a spectrum analyzer and it's used to determine all at once all the frequencies, in this case the city of Austin, on the VHF band, what we call the FM radio band. And it does it by showing the increasing frequencies this way across the scale and increasing signal strength or intensity this way. So the higher it is, the stronger a station it is, and the further this way, the higher a frequency station it is. We can look at it in some detail now we're seeing several radio stations, but not all of them. And now we're seeing just one radio station, and the activity you see here is the actual music or speaking that you would be hearing on that radio station. Here we have a detector, a gamma ray detector, of the same type that's in the Cosmophone, but quite a bit larger and therefore more sensitive. And it's connected to a conventional nuclear analyzer because it's a gamma detector. In this case, it's a gamma analyzer. And in the same way as we saw on the other analyzer, the radio analyzer, we demonstrate increasing frequency or energy level this way across the screen and increasing strength or power this way across the screen. But now we don't talk about megahertz because the number of megahertz would be 50 million million times higher, awkward number to say. So we talk about energy levels in electron volts, in this case millions of electron volts. And notice, about in the middle of the screen, at about 3 million electron volts, there's a lot of activity. And this activity is from radioactive elements, small, harmless, trace amounts of radioactive elements that are in the rock and the concrete all around us all the time. And we can determine, because this is a spectrum analyzer, we can determine which elements those are and what the proportions are by analyzing the heights here. But at about 3 million electron volts, we really don't see anything more. And notice also there are no peaks. Even though there's a smaller number here, it's quite constant. It's very random. 
And the reason is that these are the cosmic rays that are coming in from every imaginable direction, every imaginable time, distance, space, far deep space, far, far times, no connection to our planet at all. But these are the rays that we're detecting and then using in the cosmophone to make notes. Coming back to the cosmophone, we note all the same elements, just in a little different way. We have the detector that the cosmic rays, actually all the gamma rays, the gamma rays from the Earth also, are going through this detector. But in the nuclear analyzer, we're eliminating all the low energy gamma rays that come from the Earth, the ones that are on the left side of the screen on the other analyzer. And we're only listening, we're only taking the high energy ones, feeding them to the music synthesizer, and then we can listen to it and we hear notes that are being generated by those cosmic rays in the funny order that they're coming in, the random order that they're coming in from every direction, every imaginable time and space. They may have started out billions of years ago, passed through all the space, and happened to go through this detector at this moment and made that particular note. So if we hear things that are interesting or entertaining, we could call that a form of art, a form of music. And this is the intersection between the technology. This part of it is pure technology, gamma ray detector, nuclear analyzer. This part of it is pure music, music synthesizer, amplifier so that we can hear it. And where they come together, that we can use science to make art and to make music and to entertain ourselves and maybe even learn something too.